Hi everyone, this is Candice from Barefoot and Marigolds and Sweet Peas. I'm here to show you guys my new bullet journal. Here it is. Um, with my third year of gardening, um, this would be my first year actually having something to write it down, um, some things or whatever it is that I need to know to remember for the next year down in an actual book. So this year I thought that I would get a bullet journal and try to get more a little bit crafty to make me want to keep writing into it because I think that with these kind of um, journals or even journals that you buy at the store, I think that it's much more fun if you can personalize it. Even if you can't draw, I can't draw. I even on these lines in here with the bullets because um, the bullets meaning that it has little dots everywhere. So even with me, I'm not this fabulous drawer or whatever. Um, I got these felts, they're um, at, we're at Michael's and they have two sides to them. Um, like watercolor, um, I got those ones on sale and that was the only thing. This is a vase and this is um, a flower bouquet that I'm just kind of reusing for the shot from my girlfriend for one of our anniversaries. Um, again, this is another pen that I had. I don't try to go and buy a bunch of stuff and just a pencil and I stole my kid's eraser. Um, and so that's about it. Um, I spent like eight bucks on this journal. Um, there's really nothing fancy to it at all and I'll show you what I've got going inside and what is going to help me um, keep myself more organized for this 2021. Thanks for joining me. So, here we are. You might hear some background noise of my, <laughs> my puppies. Um, so here is my bullet journal. Um, I have this mechanical pencil that I'm still from my kid's room and just an old kind of black felt pen, which I'm probably going to get a better quality black pen. And like I said, an eraser that I took from my kid's uh, drawer. So anyways, um, this is my bullet journal that I got at St. Michael's and really this, honestly, it's the first time me even doing a bullet journal and I looked at different bullet journals and I saw some bullet journals and I was like, oh my God, I can't draw like that and kind of freaked me out a bit. And then I was just watching more based with for people like me, just for growing and stuff like that. So in the beginning, um, it's just this, this kind of like little cheat sheet here just helps divide up all of your numbers and how many dots are there if you're kind of wanting to having a little bit more organized and visually appeasing, appeasing also, whatever. But uh, yeah, so this is kind of a little cheat sheet that is kind of just looked one off of uh, Pinterest. I have no idea. There's so many different kinds. I added this in it and they had lines. I added dots. But, I mean, you kind of do it however you want. Um, so what my plan is for this year is to put what I'm growing down, I kind of half wrote what I was doing with my weighing of how many vegetables I had and everything else like that. And I kind of got lazy after a while because I lost piece of paper and blah, blah, blah. Well, this is a really big piece of paper and I have a little pencil um, elastic here and I can shut it if I want to buy from recipes or something. And it has two of these little tags, like little bookmark tags. So this is my bullet journal, like I said, it was like $8 or something at uh, Michael's and with the, used with a coupon, <laughs> an online coupon. So that's that. So this is what I call my, my little humble abode here. Um, it's barefoot in Mary Goals and Sweet Peas. And like I said, I cannot draw. I cannot do anything special like that. So this is what it is. I started drawing it and I wasn't super happy about it, but whatever, I grew, I drew it. And this is the key. So when I have little tasks I needed to do, I can complete it. I left this part here um, blank because I'm sure that I will add things as the year goes on. What I kind of like about this is that I could add something or remove something and I kind of like it that I'm going to be doing it month by month so I can really 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 plan on what I want to do. So at first what I was doing um, it's just like I just took something else a circle around I probably a roll of tape I have no idea um, and I drew with pencil with this mechanical pencil and then afterwards I would erase it. So um, like I said I have no idea how to draw 
I figure I like this, how I'm doing it, and it's for me, and I'm not even then coloring it at all. So my, my plan for this page was was to um, kind of put my projects that I want to do for YouTube or um, uh, Instagram and Facebook, and then that's what I left half of the page kind of blank for them, kind of like social projects. And then after that, I left this side open for things like <laughs> new uh, new fruit tree. So I can write things like that in here and just kind of make little bubbles and the same thing. Um, I kind of, that's what this page is for. Um, and then I put flowers on that side just to kind of be, that's the garden side and that's kind of the social side. So that's what worked for me. And then, oh my God, if my girlfriend could show you all of the seeds that I have and all of the, she said, what, how much is it for that dirt and all of that. Anyways, so <laughs> I'm going to try to do a little bit better with that by actually writing it down and why I needed it as well. Um, and if I was to make any money, um, that's what my goal is, what I actually did. And then this is for drawing my plan. So this is my friend's yard and it's kind of, it's winter here in Quebec. Today it's raining, but I'm going to next, you know, when I say next year, I mean uh, <laughs> when the snow is all away, I will draw what I have here. And then in my greenhouse, which you've seen already my greenhouse, um, we'll take a look at that. I'll post a link somewhere for that. Um, the veiling of my serre. Serre is greenhouse in French and it's much shorter to write in French as well. So um, I haven't even really got my my tables or my raised bar, get bar um, bed in there as well so I really that's why it's still uh, clear and I've got like my side and I have my first plot where my garden is and then I have my second plot which is like another third one. Aye, aye, aye. Um, so that's where the drawings are for my garden purposes and like what I'm going to plant there so I know what it is and then if I wanted to add to it as well. Here I've decided to, along my lines of, oh my god, that, that flower, that plant needs full sun so I'm going to write, that's what I'm going to write that here, like partial sun and hey, I can live in the shade. By the way, if you know some like cool house plants, they're shade plants, please let me know that you love, if it's a succulent. Would be even better, but probably got it. Um, this, these two pages are to take the temperature in my greenhouse. It's because I would like to use my greenhouse in the winter. It is winter right now, but the greenhouse still is probably like 90%. My sensors aren't in there, and I just want to see how it gets in there so I can kind of refer back to it the next year to see how long I can extend my growing season. Um, and I really like it. This is kind of the information that I want to know. That's why bullet journaling is really, really cool. Um, I totally am drawing outside the lines and then I outline it in black. And so then I think it looks kind of cool because that gray is kind of cool or whatever. Um, if you want to, you can like still even do like more doodlies and on the other side like circles or however doodly you ever want to get. But this is just kind of the information that I need for my greenhouse and the things that I did last year that I should have wrote down. So this is what I'm doing now. But this first, um, this video here is just to show you like the main bulk as the whole year goes in. This is what the information that I'm going to super, super look at and what I can be doing different for next year. Um, the year after. Um, for canning, like what I want to do because I have so many things in my head that I want to do and my girlfriend says, whoa, hold up on the projects. So <laughs> this is like what I actually did and even if I write what to do, what I want to do, it never becomes up to what I actually did do. And my harvest, um, just kind of like what I'm harvesting for my, for my family. My seed saving, so Maybe I can add more here if I fill this up in my wish list. So I thought I would write like a pony or a miniature pig and these little, like I drew little flowers and raindrops to write little wishes in those little things. I thought that would be kind of cute. Again, see, that's my drawing. I would draw it out with a pencil and then I would like write it out with my 
chase over it with my pens and then I will just erase it afterwards. Just make sure that it's dry, obviously. And um, you always know that those there's some quality products that you liked and you're like, oh my god, I was gonna keep the receipt or blah blah blah, or just keep the receipt in here. Who knows? There's a little pocket in the back of this book. I could keep things like that. I put um, a whole calendar for the year of next year, all at a glance. No plan. That's how I wrote it. I don't know. This is the, for the predictive um, frosts, so I just need to figure it out in my area when I need to start um, put them starting my seeds. So what it's predicted and what I'm going to do is what the actual first frost date was and see the difference between that as well. And here I'm going to put how many days it told me that I have and then how many actual days that were in between the two frost periods. So that's for that page there. And then here, like you see, I still even have it in pencil, like, cause I want to keep this open because I don't know what, what I'm going to plant first. I don't know yet, but I do know the months of the year. So that's when we're going to go back to our key. So what I sewed, so I'll put like, um, I'll color it in yellow and then like while, uh, when I harvest it, when I plant it out, if something happens or whatever, what have you. So up here, I'm going to draw veggies and I plan on drawing my veggie here. Like, so if it's a carrot, I'm going to go like draw a cute little carrot. Oh, it's only for me anyway, so if you don't know how to draw a carrot, it doesn't matter. So I made an empty a blank page for that to so keep two pages of it. And then I've got some fruit trees out there already. And like again, I'm not the best fabulous drawer, draw, fabulous drawer but I would like to put the information for my trees, like if I had a whole bunch of bugs on them, what kind of natural like products I put, like if I use BT or if I had a yellow tag or whatever I did there and also to like um, weighing uh, some produce and things like that. So thanks so much for joining me and I'm really really excited for 2021 and how this book is going to help me keep me more organized. My tet, my head, uh, tet is uh, in French, my head is uh, filled with so many things and I just need to get this down and so this will help me for next year. Um, thanks for following along and make sure that you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss what happens in January, which is going to be like, obviously it's next week, but what I'm going to be using for um, my organization purposes for January and how I'm going to be setting that up. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.